Look at our demands. Bring down for a price. Restructure the, 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 the economy. Call down cost of governance. We need a bicameral system of government. All right? Fix, we have four refineries. At least fix one. People are hungry. Hunger is not just the problem. I know you have a question to ask. Hunger is not just the problem. Our problem is also mismanagement of the economy. You said there's no money in your brokers. The little resources we have. If we have little resources, how come you bought 150 private jets? You renovated the house with 21 billion. Why renovated that? What, what body budgeted for that building was 7 billion. And it was ongoing before Barry left. Now you came and readjust the price from 7 billion to 21 billion. Don't you understand that something is going on somewhere? No, we have to be courageous. This is our future. This is our children. This is our grandchildren. And you get us Nigeria people. We don't even fear now. What is the soap? We fear, fear. Our mama fear. Our mama fear. They don't make up. The president has not said anything. Did the president give a speech to protesters? He did not now. He did not give a speech to protesters. He just gave a speech to maybe his cabinet or maybe APC people. He didn't address protesters. Did he address any of our demands? It is that now. We are saying hunger day, hunger day. Did he say anything relating to the hunger that probably inflation would reduce? It didn't. So to me, the president has not given any speech. If you are truly the president, act like a president. Look at our demands and start doing something. That is what we are saying. Reduce the fuel price. There is hunger in the land. Help us. We know they ask you for work right now. We are hungry. Give us food. That's all. I was so disappointed see everybody going to work. No problem. You can go to your work. By the time a price of bread that is 1,005 now, we hit 2,5. We will see how far. You can begin going to your work. By the time Fue goes to 1,5, we know how far. All of now where they go work, now the same market where they go. The same market. The same market. You feel you know they touch you, it go touch you very soon. So Nigerians should wake up. Don't allow anybody to gaslight you. Tunubu understand this. You understand rule and device system. Give them money. Divide some people. Let them. That's the tactics he's using. For how long are we going to continue like this? We wanted to hear a message of hope. We wanted to hear a message. In fact, people were, were looming around the corner that if the president says something that makes sense, in fact, there might be no need for a protest today or going forward. But we are so disappointed. We are discouraged. We are tired of being kept in suspense. We are tired of just be running around the circle. And that is what I believe the basis of this protest is. For us to say enough is enough. And we need to see real action take place. Considering how many more years this city government has, and how he will still impose himself in the next four years, there is no hope. I'm sorry. I, I don't think that it's very it's big. What is big? So what is the Shame on President Tinubu! Shame! Shame on the ruling party! Shame! Shame on the Senate President! Shame! Shame on the IDP! Shame! Shame on the Speaker! Shame! Shame on the DSS Director General! Shame on the Army Chief! Shame! on Sawa Olu! Shame on all those who say we cannot protest. Shame! We have done it. 